frontline is faster. That usually is how it goes when a mirror front-to-back composition game comes along. But ladies and gentlemen, we are into game number two between the Philippines and the Malaysians. We'll see, can the Malaysians equalize or can the Filipinos claim the victory? Let's see, is it gonna be 2 and 0 for Philippine Langs Malangas or is it gonna be Malaysia Langar Oof. for his game? Malaysia Langar will be fun to see for sure, but before doing that, they need to have that lane control. And so far, with the different picks in the lanes, it is a lot better. Agree with that, but I think Philippines, they, they still need to see how these Chiku guys play with this Dyrot, right? Because this is the first time that I, s I see Chiku with this Dyrot as a jungler position. Exactly, it's not exactly an mm -hmm. orthodox pick, but mm -hmm. look at the mid side. Imam trading out against Moon, already getting a bit of an advantage. And Soriano on this Leslie. You would think that he is going to be losing, right? He's going to actually have a tough time in the lane, mm -hmm. but he's actually holding his own against Momo. And that is a bit concerning for the Malaysians for sure, but we need to wait and see, can Chiku start getting the ball rolling? Obviously at level 4, that Abyssum Strike will be one of the main key factors, key tools in the big team fight. The turtle is spawning in 20 seconds though, but there we go. That is an engage by Yums. Vila Luna is forced to flicker away and they go win with Abyssum Strike. That is a first blood in the mid lane however. Imam shows the Malaysians how it's done. And at the bottom side, yet another duel. And Momo attacked the minions a bit too much there. And Soriano is able to secure a very good trade. Really a good poke damage coming from Soriano. But as one for one in the early minutes here for both of the rumors, I think it's quite fair for Malaysia as well, right? But Villa Luna tank a lot of damage coming from Malaysia with the Guardian Bulwark. Meanwhile, they want to try to contest the special. Chiku guys going for the Turtle. Still getting petrified though with the Electro Final Blow combo. There we go. Turtle actually gets taken by Dapadab. That is a disaster as Chiku gets taken out. And now the rest of the team will follow as Yums is being knocked up. He gets taken out by Del Rosario. Yine Overturn Ooh. is located, but it doesn't actually land. And Del Rosario actually picks up one more as Soriano comes out of nowhere. Moon trying his best to survive, but it won't be enough as Dapadab goes straight back in. The Filipinos are taking control right now. If I was Soriano just now, I will just say, hey, can you give, just give me the kill points? <laughs> I, I need it actually. And the part of he just, anyhow, okay, I will just use my Phantom Slash to finish it. He, he walked all the way there and he did I not know. get that kill, but here we go. I'm offended being used. And Villa Luna gets taken very low as Momo. Ooh. He's walking around, keeps attacking again and again. He is still alive, not for long though, but can the trade back be secured? Yums will be able to deny that. And the Malaysians get a bit of a small victory. The snipe from Soriano. Combo with the new overturn though. That is Moon making the place happen. And Soriano picks up one more kill. A bit of strike though. Will take out Imam as a consequence. And it's a we have a game in our hands, boys. Wow, at least it's one for one for both of the teams right now. And look at the combo that comes from the Yinyang overturn pop-ups by Imam. It makes sure that one member from Malaysia, of course will be that. Oh, here we go, the Luminum Blast being charged up. But Luna with the flicker actually won't be able to secure as Momo will jump away with the ultimate. But now with three members down here, the snipe is being used by uh, Osoriano, mm -hmm. but they won't be able to secure any kills just yet as Chiku is all over the map trying to farm up. He is one of the main win conditions for mm -hmm. the Malaysians. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll see a play happen in the top side. Yeah, meanwhile, Dup Dup. Ooh. Ooh, the flame shot. Coming from Imam and Moon need to be forced to using that flicker to run away to get out from Ooh. the death Del for Rosario. himself. He just comes in and tries to secure the kill with the Retribution. Unfortunately, he is very slightly off. And now without the Retri available for just a while here, they're going for a play. It's still a 3v2 right now. Electro Final Blow has been used as Chico gets very, very low. A Risen Strike onto the Turtle, but it's still alive. Retribution will secure the Turtle finally, and the Malaysians will be able to sur survive, save Chiku, and it's no one downed from either team. Yeah, it's almost down though for Chiku, but he's still able to run away from it. And how the Padap used that Phantom Slash to just go in and Ooh. go out. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, a Nomian Blast set up as well. Just make sure that no one can shut Zoriano down in the bottom lane because two members from Malaysia trying to chase him away with a really, really a good cover coming from Momchu and it's not gonna be another target down 
in the bottom lane. That is very great defensive use of the Dominant Blast. The Lethal Wonder will be taken away, but look at that. That is a Yin Overton being used, and the Malaysians are taken very low, but they are not backing down. Right now, I'm about is being used, and that will be Vila Luna taken out. And Formes pressures away the rest of the members. But you can see Dapper Dap waiting for an opportunity. I don't think he will be finding anything too crazy right here. Mm -hmm. As the Malaysians, they converge on the bottom side. If they're lucky, they might just catch Soriano off guard here. As Formes is trying to delay the collapse coming in from the rest of the Filipinos. But I think right now the Malaysians will be able to get that pirate. But Luminum Blast being used by Moon, stolen away from Villa Luna. As Eagle Guys will be able to take out Del Rosario. But as a result, that is two members taken out. And after that, it has arrived. Three members running away from the full brunt of the Filipino aggression. That will be Formes taken out as well. It's 3, 4, 1, an advantage and a lot of benefits from Malaysia even though they have to lose the bottom lane here but three members down and it's gonna be the fourth one which is, it's Chiku guys who will be punished in the middle lane, Arashi. Just constant back and forth here. Chiku guys, after the initial fight, he gets caught out yet again and the Filipinos are able to equalize the trade in the bottom side taking out that turret as well. Map control is still very much contested here, but I can't help but feel on a tank jungler, Del Rosario is gonna have a lot better time contesting for these neutral objectives. Agree with that. And let's see what the wheel militia needs to do here because now Philippines, they are trying, you, you know, it's the moment when, when you know, when you play Mobile Legend, you know that you have a feeling, okay guys, we are snowballing right now. So this is time for us to just give giving a more pressure and pressure towards our opponent, right? Mm -hmm. And now, this is what Philippines do. They are trying to give a lot of pressure to Malaysia, and they want to play and to get more objective turrets, even in the top lane. As we say that the Yums gets rested down, he will be able to survive as the Numenon Blast has been used. The Malaysians are coming in to try and back up their top side. Momo and Yums though, I'm about to being used, Villa Luna gets taken under the turret, but he will still be able to survive as Chiku guys comes in. He gets bursted down though, Yin Yang overturn along with everything else. He gets taken out as Yums will be forced to back away. Soriano with the snipe will not be able to secure the kill, but look at the flame shot! Actual oh. lands onto Yums, and May, four Mays will be forced to back away. He is stuck under the turret though, as Moon will try to recall, but they might spot what? him as well. Four Mays gets taken out. Moon will survive with his life. The turret will be the next victim for the Filipinos though. Did you see the zoning again and again coming from Philippines? It makes Malaysia. They are in. They are so much in the hard situation right now. They cannot force themselves to go back with the recall. They have to let Philippines to do what to do their things in, in the top lane just now. No one realized actually the Union of Return comes out from Imam and also the flam shot that really really on point from Imam. It makes Malaysia they have to you know sometimes you have to prepare for this kind of stuff. Right? Oh. Here we go though, more stuns being used as Villa Luna is just relentlessly treating the Malaysians with a lot of pressure. But still, for now, both teams are just waiting for the next objective. They don't want to risk losing members before the objectives start spawning out. We talked about the Kagura not being so good, but Imam is proving me wrong right now. Oh! As right here, look at that, engage on the target though! Like the final will being used with the Petrify as well! Oh, there is a Malaysian falling apart, double kill for Imam yet again! But look at Momo, what? doing the damage, dealing the DPS, Formis trying to help him out, but that's five members against two! Their Rosario comes back in, threatens away, pushes the Malaysians away from the rest of the roster, and they will still be sieging with full roster. Five members oh, at the stun though, freak. being used by Formis with that flicker, Soriano, very low, taken out with the Prince's Wrath. And now Momo is a free hitting as Formis is stopping all the momentum. But look at that knockup. Won't be enough as the members of Malaysia spawn back. And now they can go for the Lord without Soriano on the field. Oh my god. Now Malaysia, they want to force the Lord fight here in the lower pit. And it's going to be a disaster if, Phil if Philippines they cannot counter it back. Now five members from Malaysia, they are chasing Filaluna away with the Guardian Bulwark up. But the town connects to Filaluna and it's going to be the other, the other, another target that's coming in from Malaysia, which is Filaluna. There's not going to be another, you know, no mean blast setup from Philippines. No front line for the Philippines right now as Formes. There's a lot of damage to that, but he is alone right now. The follow-up comes in from 
from Del Rosario, but the rest of the Malaysians zone away Soriano and Imam. The Lord is still doing a lot of damage to the Malaysians, though. This is a dangerous situation. As you see Del Rosario flanking around, having his eyes on Chiku as Yams gets very, very low. And now it is just back down to the setup as Formace actually walks right in front of him. Is there going to be a big play, though? Dash does not land, and the Lord is started by the Filipinos. And in the top side, they see Momo on the field. So mm -hmm. this might just be a free Lord taken by the Philippines. They're trying to rush it down as Formes tries to do something. And Chiku goes for the steal, but he gets knocked up. Not just down right here, though, but the flag oh! What a flag from Luna! Luna. The follow up from Dapu Dap as well. That is two members down from the Malaysian squad, and the rest will follow through. Shoutdown for Formes, but actually Momo picks up a shoutdown as well. He's kiting so well right here, and Dapu Dap cannot find the kill as Yums is still in the front, but he's alone. He's left by the rest of the members. And you can see that they do not want to let him escape. Villa Luna still beating down on him, but they decide to go for the Lord. And on the top side, Momo is forced to deal with the waves. The K thing, you know, how long the fight? It's, it was amazing. You know, no mean blast setup. Three members got stunned, and the powder fall it very, very fast. And the Lord Ooh. is going into the hand of Philippines right now. That is, the Lord secured. Yams tries to do a lot of damage as Momo is still free hitting again and again. He is not under control right here as Villa Luna gets taken out. He's unstoppable, but for how long? He gets bursted down by Soriano with the snipes. Filipinos are not done just yet though. It's a flame shot. Nearly takes Yams out, but Formis is alone, struggling for his life with the Prince's Wrath. What? It won't be enough as Imam picks yet another kill up. Shiku in the front. Yams trying to survive, but he gets taken out as his immortality is popped up. Moon tries to do damage, what? but Soriano will continue gunning down the members from Malaysia. That is a 3 for one right now, and the Lord is walking down the mid lane. It's insane, Arashi. Did you see the K thing? It's it keep happening from Philippines and also Malaysia. And did you see that Formis deal a lot of damage towards Soriano, but it's not easy to take him down. And now the Lord is marching down inside the base, into the base of Malaysia. Oh, stolen over and blast being used, but Imam goes in instead. What? Mina Overton does not succeed in landing. Chico guys takes out Imam. That is a great pickup as the Malaysian look for some more. Chico goes in, but the patchy fire oh like the final blow combo used guy. by Dapper Dap. He's unstoppable. He's going in 1v5. He finally gets knocked down. What? Wait, he is still terrified, but he is going for what? Moon. Moon, very, very low right now, but that is a shutdown picked up by Momo. Oof. Wow, Dapa Dap. He tanked all of the damage. One versus three, one versus four, trying to give some distraction in the other lane just to make sure all of the members from Mali uh, from Philippines, they're actually very, very low, can go back and recall safely to their base. This Ooh. is an amazing place that are coming from Dapa Dap. But I know, I realize for Maze, he also tried so hard to be the front laner for Malaysia and he he's he's you know he hopes that actually the damage dealer from Malaysia which is it's gonna be uh, Momo can try to follow him up but the Ooh. problem is not easy as well for Momo because he needs to, uh, to pay attention with his positioning that is a concealed play by the Malaysians though Villa Luna will be the primary target but he will be able to escape as Moon dashes in though he is in the side for a big Numenon blast what? it actually lands onto Yums but the snipe coming from Soriano will take him down Dap Dap gets very, very low. The Dinyang overturn is used onto four mates. That's a double kill for Soriano. The rest of the roster from Malaysia, three members running away, and the Filipinos have a one for two trade. Oh, I am so, I'm so confused, Arasi, because, you know, it, it, it's, it's very, very, um, it's very Chaotic. long team fight, yes, and it's very chaos here. Malaysia, they seem refuse to surrender. They seem refuse Ooh. to give up, and they still want more. I mean, this is lands. Oh my God, that is Yums getting taken out, unstoppable, what? and Momo. Very, very low, but he will be able to survive. The snipe lands on the Chico instead, and the Malaysians are on the back foot. It's a 4v3, but Formes is up right now. He is relatively squishy, but he has enough crowd control to spell disaster for the Philippines. They're clearing the waves, and the Philippines recognize the threat. Formes leading the charge, looking for something more, but it does seem like the Philippines will be able to back away as Dapadap already proactively pushing on the other side of the map. Did you see the damage from Imam towards Momo? With the Yin Yang Overton connects with the Umbrella? It makes Momo has to at least respect with the magic damage that Philippines has. But look at that, the file and Requiem open up again Ooh. and another setup from Villa Luna. And you think it's gonna be a fight for Philippines here? Moon 
tries to do a lot of damage, but it won't be quite enough. Villa Luna will eventually get taken out, but Formis is out of the battle as well. Momo is doing a lot of damage, but he gets taken out on Dapa the other Dapa! side. Chico does his best with the miss of strike, but Dapper Dap is just so lethal right oh here. My dashing God. around. Soriano with the monster kill. Yum's now the final target. Imam picks up yet another one, and that is a wipeout for the Filipinos. They are pushing. They're looking for an opportunity here. There is 16 seconds on the shortest death timer of the Malaysians, and they think they oh have a chance no. here. Soriano pushing the wave, cutting it as soon as possible. Eight seconds for Formes, the tankiest member. Will the Filipinos be able to take him out before he stops the minion waves? Here we go, the base very low. Formes spawns, but it won't be enough. Look at my attack! The Filipinos have done it! Two and zero for Philippines without any sweet refrains that coming from Malaysia. What a clean sweep for Philippines and good game well play Malaysia. You guys did your best, but you guys have to say another goodbye in ISF 14 World Esports Championship. What a fight, what a game. I just saw, you know, there's so many things happen inside the game just now, Arashi. We 